from my house to the gym, I'd always see some flowers on this tree. And I looked over at the tree, and they got a Randy Savage shrine going on there with his picture. And who would have thunk it that of all the places I could have lived and all the trees that I would drive by, that I drive by that tree. Randy looked down at me and he says, I got you, dragon. I got you. <laughs> Some of my special moments for WrestleMania, Ricky Steamboat, Randy Savage, uh, maybe one of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time. You're gonna work with Randy Savage for WrestleMania 3. Randy Savage, the day has finally come. The minutes, the I was the seconds. very much motivated and very appreciative. WrestleMania 3, so important. Pontiac Silver Dome, more than 90,000 people. Both of us started brainstorming the match. I have never met a performer that was such a stickler, a perfectionist. I'm sure it was a little annoying. He wore people out. Step number one, lock up. I went, Savage, come on. We know we're gonna lock up. Write it down, Dragon, write it down. I was using one of those legal pads, and I'm in about the fifth page. I'm in step number 250. I never had a match that laid out A to Z and had to remember everything, knowing that there was no deviation. Macho Man poised in his favorite position, bombs away. And Randy, he was uh, one of those action kind of wrestlers. When he worked out his matches, they were very detailed. Randy, I think, was like, no, I want to make it a little more complicated. I want more twists and turns. In this match, we had over 20 possible finishes, and everyone had a hook. And what I mean by everybody could have bought it at that moment. And now it's the Macho Man. Unbelievable how he's kicking out all these. And then finally, when the one, two, three went down, believe it or not, there was a little bit of a load. Like, it wasn't an immediate reaction. Like, it would, OK, is this the one? <laughs> then 90,000 blue. What a moment that was. Big moment in my career, you know? I could count them on one hand, and that, that was one of them. I honestly don't think that if he wasn't so stickler, I don't think it would have come off like the way it did. And that's, I give that all to Randy. It was sold out for the wrestlers in the back. There was nobody that didn't watch that match. We knew before it happened, it's like, this is gonna be the match. It raises the bar, just speechless. I was in awe of how good it was. All these guys are coming up, just congratulating me, shaking their hands. And Arnold Scola, uh, Monsoon, old school, old timers, hard knock guys, were coming up to shake our hand and tell us they have never, ever seen anything like it. You can watch that match, and you could almost you know, be as engrossed now watching it on videotape as you were live you know, at WrestleMania. It, it is like, it's art. It's art. You knew that the industry changed that night. Around the water cooler in the morning, they were talking about Savage and Steamboat. If you leave one thing in that industry or one thing you did in life, I think that's so important. Have that moment that people will talk about the rest of their life. Was Randy happy about the Ricky Steamboat match? Yes, he was. But in another way, not at all because he was never able to have a match anywhere near as good, and it bothered him. Me, uh, it's the match with Randy. Out of the 6,000 that I had. That match.